Hey there, welcome to another uh, Slightly Redneck video. Um, you can see I'm working in the kitchen today. Um, I don't do a whole lot of kitchen work, but it's Super Bowl Sunday, so I got invited to a uh, Super Bowl party at my sister's house, and I thought I'd bring an appetizer. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and just show you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to make some uh, buffalo blue cheese pinwheels. I think this should be pretty good. So what I've got is just some tortillas. i got pretty big tortillas, but use whatever size you want. It doesn't matter. I got uh, Frank's Red Hot. I've got some blue cheese crumbles. Um, you can use, of course, a different hot sauce if you want. I like Frank's Red Hot. And I've got, oh, I don't know, that's probably a pound and a half, almost two pounds worth of, uh, this is shredded rabbit, but you could easily use uh, shredded chicken. And this is probably way more than I need, uh, but I'm just going to use up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix my sauce up, and then I'm going to use this, however much uh, of this meat that I need to use to, to use it I use up the sauce. So let me uh, bring you in close here and we'll show you how to uh, how to get that going. All right, before you get started on making the sauce, uh, get your oven started up, get it heated up to about 350 degrees. This is going to have to go in the oven, so I'm just going to cook it in this cast iron pan here. Um, I can stick the whole pan in the oven, so I'm not going to worry about transferring it to another pan, but you can, you can easily do that. So let me get my pan heated and started heating up here. And you don't need it um, terribly hot. You need, you need it hot enough to melt the butter. That's all, all we're going to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two, or I'm going to add a whole cup worth of Frank's Red Hot. You could easily cut this in half if you were doing less. I'm going to add that to the pan. And then I'm going to add about four tablespoons of butter. It's probably about four tablespoons, roughly. And I'm going to melt that butter and, and whisk that in. So let me get my whisk real quick. All right. I'm just trying to get the butter melted, that's all, and uh, mixed in with the sauce. So let me get that done. We'll come back and we'll show you the next step because who wants to watch me melt butter? All right, so my butter is mostly melted in here. I'm just whisking it in. Mm. That looks pretty good. Like I said, you don't need to get this real hot. You just need to melt the butter and mix them together. That's all you're doing here. All right, so I'm going to turn the heat off to the pan. I'm going to get my rabbit here, and I'm just going to add a little bit in. And the way I shredded this rabbit is I just covered it. I put it in a uh, big stock pot, covered it with water, a couple bay leaves, a little bit of uh, oregano and thyme. And then I, uh, oh, sorry, then I brought it up to a boil, covered it, simmered it for about two and a half hours, pulled it out, let it cool off enough to handle, and then, uh, you know, it meat just falls right off the bone from there and you just shred it up so pretty easy to do um, I did use pretty good little turkey uh, stock in that broth if you need to know how to make a turkey stock then uh, check out my video for that I've got a pretty good uh, turkey stock recipe so I think that's gonna be enough meat I've got a little bit left over not much so this is probably I don't know maybe a um, pound a little over a pound maybe a pound and a quarter of meat in here I'm gonna stir that around get all these pieces real real good and coated and what we're looking for is a consistency where it's not uh, dripping wet, um, but it's not overly dry either because you're going to bake this off for a little while and uh, you want to make sure that you know you don't have, it's not too sloppy whenever you uh, go to put it on your tortillas. So that's looking pretty good. I maybe I've gone just a little overboard with the meat, but I think, I think it'll work. So let me get this stirred up and I'm going to spread it out real thin in a pan if you're using, you know, not a, a pan that's not oven safe then you'll want to uh, spread it out in another baking pan and then we're going to stick it in the oven here and we're going to do that for 20 minutes at 350 degrees so let me get this all situated get it in the oven and then we'll come back whenever it's uh, done baking so all right that's been baking in the oven for about 20 minutes boy it looks fantastic smells even better let me get a large spoon what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna move this camera a little bit so you can see what I'm gonna do here we go I'm gonna just take a, uh, a spoon probably a tablespoon which is fine and I'm gonna scoop this out of here and then I'm just gonna spread it across this tortilla and I'm gonna do it while it's hot because I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese on top and I want it to kind of melt in it doesn't need to be incredibly thick um, spread it out in a nice thin even layer Once I've got that spread out nice and even, I'm going to take some of these blue cheese crumbles here, 
I'm going to sprinkle them over the top of it and just try to get them kind of evenly dispersed. It's more important that you get them evenly dispersed up and down than side to side. So you don't need a whole lot of blue cheese. Um, it's a pretty strong flavor. A lot of people don't really care for it, so you can leave it out if you want to. Or you could use ranch or um, you know, ranch dressing. Um, just pour it on real thin or you know, whatever flavor it is that you like. So I think that's pretty good. I like blue cheese a whole lot, so I'm going to put quite a bit on there. I think that's pretty good. And then uh, what I'm going to do is just roll this up. So I'm going to take the tortilla, fold it over, roll it fairly tight, but try not to, to crack your tortilla and to lose everything out of it. All right. And that's what I end up with. Now what I'm going to do, I've got quite a few more of these to do, but let me do my can. I'm going to transfer that to a plastic container here. So I'm going to fill them all up. I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to stick it in the fridge for a couple of minutes. Uh, probably 15 minutes or so. Let it uh, cool off and firm up a little bit so it'll be easier to cut. So uh, let me get the rest of these packed up and then I'll come back to you when we get them uh, to the next step. Alright, so I've got all my tortillas made. I had about three of them out of there. I'm just going to put a lid on this container, stick it in the fridge and let it cool off and then um, they'll be easier to cut after that point. So then I'll bring them back here and we'll get them uh, cut up and I'll, I'll show you kind of the next step. So stick around. Alright, so these have chilled off. They're going to be a lot easier to handle now. You can see they're holding together a little bit better. Uh, so pretty simple here. You've got a, a section here on the end where there's just really nothing. Well, let me get it down where you can see it. There we go. Section here on the end where there's really nothing. It's kind of hollow if you can see that. So what I'm going to do is just start right about there and cut that off. And well, a little bit of meat in there, so I'll taste that here in a minute. And then I'm just going to cut pinwheels out of this about, I don't know, what's that, about a quarter inch quarter inch wide. So and I like a, a, a serrated knife for this. This is about the only thing I like serrated knives for is it lets you cut without tearing up the um, the tortilla too bad without smashing the whole thing flat. So you just let the knife do the work. And really that's about all there is to it. You don't need to see me uh, cut up all these pinwheels but that's it. You can see, uh, there you go, nice rabbit or chicken, whatever you're using, covered with buffalo uh, sauce and some blue cheese mixed in with it. So, looks good. Um, should be tasty. And uh, let me uh, turn this camera around. I'll sign off this video real quick. All right. Well, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, not my typical type of video where I do I'm doing some cooking here, but uh, you know I like to do a little bit of everything. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And as always, God bless.